Hello. So I got one of these SDRs a while back, this SDR Play. And uh, this is the Duo. It has a, two inputs and you can monitor um, two inputs at once, like dual receive. So it's kind of nice. Oh, you know what, I have this, I actually have this cover on backwards. You'll see why in a second. Um, Anyways, these things are not uh, not really your low-end uh, STRs, and especially when it comes to price. But uh, I have enjoyed using this, and it's a pretty nice um, STR. And uh, recently, it stopped being recognized by any computers. And it's about a year and a half old, so it's just out of warranty. So I'm kind of stuck with, I think I paid like 250 for this. Kind of stuck with this non-functional unit. So, took it apart. There are some screws you can remove here. There's some little rubber feet that cover them. So you have to take those off. And uh, that opens up to a housing, which contains the board. Here's the board. And um, you can unplug these little coax connectors and I removed the board to check some things out so I thought I'll make a video and if I can fix this it may help someone with the same problem so we will see what we can find out so hopefully I will return well we're back already it's only been a little bit. I kind of had a suspicion maybe there's something wrong here. Um, when I plug this in, I tried to measure five volts that you get off the USB. Um, I can't remember which pin it was, but the five volt bus pin, it's like three something volts. And um, I just have this to stop the glare, hopefully. And uh, I noticed uh, something getting hot right here. Like maybe this chip, if I can zoom in. Anyways, this is on continuity mode. So this is most likely a voltage regulator. And it probably has an output and an input. And uh, there'll be a ground connection in there. Well, this capacitor should not be reading 30 ohms across it. I assume, I don't have another one of these, but um, it's probably uh, just a bulk, is it? No, probably bulk, you know, output capacitor, input capacitor for the, uh, most likely this voltage regulator, switching regulator here. So um, I'll do a little bit more digging now, but um, to see a sh kind of a short, well, I think maybe a short on the five volts. So I don't think that's supposed to be ground. You're supposed to have one ground here. There's one, there's two. It's one ohm. It's 59 ohms. DC, six ohms. So we got some problems here, right on the input. And um, I've heard that these can have some uh, problems with the voltage regulator. So I'm gonna look at this a little bit more, but there may be a problem with this um, regulator here. So what this, what the symptoms are is this isn't recognized by any of my computers, so. Okay, well. We are back with an update here. It's probably been ooh, a month, maybe more. So it uh, this was kind of on the back burner. Low priority, but still some, some priority because I wanted to get it working. So anyways, let's go over briefly what it took. Found a few, few things wrong with this here. <clears throat> and um, 
and it wasn't super straightforward. So, but I had some a little bit of help too, uh, as far as figuring out what parts were bad here. So let's just look at some stuff. All right. Um, so in the last video, I said that there may be some problems with the regulators. So we had these two and a half volt regulators, these switch mode regulators. These take five volts in. That's loud. And they put out two and a half. I guess two and a half here. And five here, because that's ground. So this was bad. I took it off, I removed the shorts on both the input and the output capacitors. And then this one somehow was also bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were both bad. So we took these guys off and it got rid of the shorts and I plugged it in and I had two and a half volts output, but we still had problems. Um, the board was not recognized. So I did a little bit more probing around and I found that the 3.3 volt input for this guy here was like 70 ohms and it was getting pulled down. This is, uh, you know what, it may be actually a 3 volt regulator, not a 3.3. This is, I believe, is a 3 volt regulator. It could be a 3.3, I can't remember. And it feeds the VBUS for this, um, it's the VBUS for this chip here. So, um, this chip was also shorted. And this guy was getting hot too, by the way. So I removed this, the short went away. I was getting three volts on the input, the supply for this chip. Uh, so that this chip was bad too. So we went on AliExpress and we got some, uh, these are MSI 2500 chips. Not, not the easiest to, to find out there, but I took a chance and I, I ordered a, a pair on AliExpress. So, C5, the other one, doesn't really matter, but um, I don't know. Anyways, that's where I got it. Um, here's, here's the bad one. This is the bad one. It actually looks a little different, um, but lo, lo and behold, it worked. The package looks a little different. Same amount of pins, same, same size and everything, but it just looks a little different. Um, but they're both MSI 2500s. Um, so I got I got a pair of those off of AliExpress. Okay, and then I got some of these. Let's zoom back in here. Some of these two and a half volt uh, regulators. I got these off of. Oh, I was gonna say DigiKey, but this is Mouser. I guess I guess they didn't have them on DigiKey. Must have not. Part LD. number, part number. Maybe it's this LP5900 SDX 2.8. That's got to be it. And 0 PB, no lead. Okay. Um, so this is this is what, what those 2.5 volt regulators are. I don't know. What did I buy? Did I buy 10 of these even? Yeah, so I guess I bought 10 of these for some odd reason. Probably not that expensive. So... so these guys worked. So I had a bunch of problems with this board. Somehow it failed. On There was a lightning storm right before this went bad. And a, a lightning bolt struck very close. I was actually outside um, when the lightning bolt struck. And it was to my east. Oh, it was very loud. Um, and I thought maybe there was some correlation with the board not working in that. Uh, I don't think that's the case, though. It seems every all the shorts were on the uh, USB side. So you had the, the two uh, two and a half volt regulators, five volts in, two and a half out. And you had the three volt regulator and the uh, MSI 2500 chip. Those all failed. I just plugged this thing in. It seems to work. Um, so I didn't have the antenna 
uh, I didn't have these coax connectors on here, but um, just in transmitting some low power UHF, I was able to observe a signal present. So it still seems like the, the uh, input here is, is okay. So I think these probably have problems. They, they probably try to pull too much current from just a, a you know a USB 2.0 interface and stuff probably gets hot and fails. So I think that's what happened with, with this one. It also took out the USB port on my computer. I have a little Lenovo M700 um, and that port no longer works. I don't think there's five volts present on it anymore. I haven't taken the time to, to pull it and look at it, but I may do that to see if I can fix that because that'd be the second one. I bought it used and there was one that didn't work and then now another one has failed. So, um, so I will do a little bit more testing, but I think this guy's back up and running. So two, two and a half volt regulators and this um, MSI chip. And, um, and the five volt bus was being pulled down to like three volts or something like that with the shorts going on. So no, no longer is that the case. So I think um, some of the USB interface um, works its, its way through here. I think this deals with the USB 2.0. So I think this chip must have gone bad with these. I don't know how they all go together, but somehow all these three went. So I replaced these and, and then I found that. So um, hopefully if yours has gone bad, you can you can check, check the input capacitors here. And um, hold on, let me, let me find some, there we go. Let's take a look here. I'll give you a little bit more information here. This is for this MSI 2500 chip. So do you like how they de denote pin one here? So, oh, it's actually pin one is the VCC GPIO. Um, is that actually, yeah, okay, so it's pin one. You should, I think that gets three volts. And then this guy here. So I think these were both shorted. And um, so you can check those pins to ground. And they shouldn't be, I think mine were like, you know, 10 ohms or something or less than that. So they should be more. I think they're measuring less than 100 now. But... Um, Apparently that's okay, <laughs> unless there's something else kind of going on that reel. I mean, maybe this regulator's kind of had it too. Hopefully that doesn't fail. But um, so let me let me briefly show. Well, let's see what. Okay, this is this is a different chip altogether. There's two of these MSI 001s. This is a 001. This is a 001. These were good apparently. And this MSI 2500 was bad. So this is actually the 3.0 in. That's reading about 70 ohms here, so that's normal. So it was a lot lower. So it's probably like six or something. So look, look there for a short. I think this, that's the same thing. That's so this and this are the same bus 3.0, and that is, I believe, it's hard to do this through the camera, possibly. Yep, so that's this is the output, I believe, for that right here. So you can check that for the MSI 2500. And then um, there's a little EE prom here, and that stores uh, the information. I was kind of worried I'd have to program this chip, but it's all stored here. So hopefully, <laughs> if your board's bad, hopefully this chip's not bad too. So that's all I know about this board. I didn't have to go any deeper than that. So. Um, if you're observing your 5 volt V bus getting pulled down, you may have a similar problem. Anyways, this video is way too long for what it is already, so hopefully this helps you. Because uh, also on the on the website, um, the SDR Play website, they have um, 
listed some repair technicians that will repair these. And the ones in the US, from what I can tell, are pretty reputable. So you can send them off there. I think they're pretty reasonably priced too. So, um, so just wanted to, to note that. Um, but if you're looking to repair this yourself, you know, and it seems like the input's bad, you can look there. So, all right, this is way too long already. We'll end it here. Good luck. 73. Yes, she does live. She does live. <laughs> yes, she does live. Yeah, a lot of interference without that metal case.